Hi, this is problem 9 from the 2018 AIM-1. Find the number of four element subsets of 1 through 20 with the property that two distinct elements of a subset have a sum of 16 and two distinct elements of a subset have a sum of 24. Okay, this is a difficult problem. Now when you break a counting problem into subsets, you try to find convenient subsets that are non-overlapping. Now I don't think that's possible for this problem, so the best I can do is find convenient subsets with minimal overlap and make small overlap corrections along the way. So let's write out our 20 numbers. And try to visualize the pairs of numbers that add to 16. So we could have 7, 9, 6, 10, 5, 11, and so on. And also try to visualize the pairs of numbers that add to 24. Okay, so there are eight such pairs that add to 24. Let's call those the red pairs. And there are seven such pairs that add to 16. Let's call those the blue pairs. Now, I found it convenient to index the count based upon whether the four element subset contains one of the blue pairs. So let's see what that looks like. So if it contains the first blue pair, we'll call that seven, nine, and there are two ways that we can pick the other two elements. The other two elements could not overlap with the 7 and 9, in which case that occurs in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ways. Or it could overlap, in which case the third element could be a 15, or the third element could be a 17. Now if it contains the 15, the fourth number in the subset could be any of the 17 remaining numbers. If it contains a 17, it could again be any of the 17 remaining numbers. But this double counts the case where you have 15 and 17. So let's just put a minus one there to correct for that uh, minor overcount. Okay, let's consider, consider the second blue pair, seven and 10. Here again, if the other two numbers do not overlap, the 7 and 10, that it could occur in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ways. If it does overlap, it could occur in one of two ways. It could contain the element 14 or the element 18. In either of these cases, the fourth number could take on any of the 17 remaining numbers, but that overcounts the 6, 10, 14, 18. Put a minus 1 there. Let's consider the third blue pair, 5, and 11. If the other two elements do not overlap, that can occur in six ways. If they do overlap, it would contain the element 13 or 19. In either of these two cases, the fourth element of the subset could take any of the 17 remaining numbers. But again, that double counts the 5, 11, 13, 19. Let's put in minus one for that. <clears throat> okay, the fourth blue pair is 4, 12. So that starts looking different. 4, 12. Um, if it doesn't overlap, there's actually seven ways that can occur, seven of the red pairs. If it does overlap, that can only overlap in one way. It would have to contain the 20. If it contains the 20, the 4, and the 12, the other element could take on any of the 17 other values. All right, the next blue pair is 3, 13. If it doesn't overlap, now there are seven red pairs for that to occur. If it does overlap, there's only one way that could overlap. It would contain the number 11. If it contains the number of 11, there are 17 other numbers that can be selected for the fourth element. But now we have to be careful. We might actually overcount something that we've counted previously. In this case, we do the 11, 13, 3 
would be overcounting something that would occur with the 5, 11, 13 in this case. So let's put a little dot to indicate that and correct this down by that one element that we double counted. Okay, the next blue pair is 214. 214, if the red pairs don't overlap, there are seven ways that that can occur. If they do overlap, then that would overlap element would have to be the number 10. There are 17 ways that we can choose the fourth element. But here again, the 10, 14, 2 would double count one of the elements that occurred in the 6, 10, 14 that we counted here. So let's put a negative 1 to correct for that double count. Just make a little notation here to indicate the case that we're correcting for. And finally, if the blue pair is 1, 15, then there are seven red pairs that don't overlap. If it does overlap, then the only way that it can occur is for the third element to be 9. And in that case, the fourth element could be selected among any of the 17 remaining numbers. But here again, the 1, 15, 9 will overcount by 1 an element that we'd previously counted. So let's make a correction for minus 1 and just make a little notation to indicate the case that we're correcting for. And I think that uh, covers all the counting cases. So let's add them all up. We have that we have uh, 3 times 6 plus 4 times 7 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 17. So that's, uh, oh, minus 6, excuse me, for all the minus 1s that we have. So that's 3 times 6 minus 6, that's 2 times 6, 12. 4 times 7, 28. 10 times 17, 170. All total, 210. Anyway, a very difficult counting problem. Uh, I definitely had difficulty with this one. Hope that helped, and we'll talk to you next time.